Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy with Craft and Cake with Billy. I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm so happy to be here. Um, I have gone a few days without um, uploading a video and since it is Gingerbread Friday, I thought we could do a gingerbread um, craft with me today instead of the norm. Um, I won't be doing a um, gingerbread ornament right now, but we are going to do a fun wooden gingerbread craft creation here today. And I hope you guys like it, but um, I'm going to show you some of the examples of what I'm talking about here. Um, I have been working on these wooden Christmas tags and I thought it would be fun for us to make some together. I'm just going to give you a quick peek at each one. And we will go from there. So like I said, I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, I hope uh, you guys are getting ready for the holiday season. It is upon us. Ready or not, right? Okay. I'm going to sit these here and then I have one more that I want to show you. And then we will get along, start on this tutorial. Um... I really enjoyed making these wooden tags. I love wooden tags. And I found some from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and I still had some left over, so I thought I would use those. It's always good to use what you have, right? So I have taken some Distress Oxide, the vintage photo, and I just inked around my wooden tag. Simple enough, right? It just gives you some added dimension as well as a little bit of age, right? So those are my wooden tags that we are gonna use today. Um, you can use stamps, you can use any sort of embellishments that you want. I found the cutest little gingerbreads from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would be cute too stick those on a tag now you can write the person's name on the front or the back depending on how you decorate them but um, I thought we could start off with a stamp so I'm just gonna take some ink and then my little stamping block here I'm gonna get my stamp which I should have gotten a bigger stamping block but this will work I'm trying to see I have it upside down it's hard to tell but it really won't matter so I'm just gonna add some ink to my clear stamp and I'm gonna just stamp it it doesn't have to be straight stamp it however you like I kind of like that look I might stamp again the wonderful thing about these stamps, you know, you can't really read the writing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just love the look. Isn't that nice? Okay. So I'm going to move this. And then let's take some music paper. And we'll just tear it because I like the teared look, the torn look. And... We are going to kind of tear off the blank spaces. And let's ink around these as well. Just the size. And you're not going to need a piece this big. Let's see. We'll cut it off about here. And we'll ink around there. Okay, but I wanna see that writing, so let's just make it a little bit thinner and we'll ink that. Okay, 
Now you can use any sort of glue that you want, but since my hot glue gun is up and ready, we're gonna use that. And believe it or not, Trusty Dusty has um, finally conked out. I know she was an eyesore, but I loved her and she worked so well for the time she did. But I was crafting the other day and she just stopped working. So I had to throw her away and I'm trying to get used to this one. I've already gotten her nice and, and dirty so far. She's well loved, but I do miss my old, um, <laughs> my old glue gun. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some numbers. So I'm gonna stick that to my stamping block. And since this, these are Christmas themed, I thought it would be nice to add maybe 25. So we'll put the five down here. December 25th there's the five and I have a two so we're gonna put the two here and we're gonna add some ink okay so we'll do a two five okay so we can still see that too all right okay I like that so I think it would be nice to add a piece of, or some flowers here to make it a little more Christmassy. So I'm just gonna take this piece of burlap flower here and add some glue, and then add one of these cute little poinsettias or poinsettia, depending on where you live. And then I'm just gonna add some glue around the piece of twine there. And then I'm gonna add my cute little flower. Isn't that cute? Okay, so Mr. Gingerbread, we can add him to the top or we can add him to the bottom. What do you guys think? Maybe here, I like it. So we'll add him here. He looks happy there. So we'll add him there, put some glue and Let's see, we'll add him right there so we can still see the 25. Yeah, so it's just as simple as that. Um, let's see, we could make another one real quick if you guys would like to. Um, I do love stamping these um, numbers. So much fun and adds a lot to your piece, so. All right, I had to go and get my flowers, my box of flowers, because I wanted to add a Christmas flower to this one. And I found these Christmas flowers at Hobby Lobby. And I believe all of their Christmas uh, stuff is 60% off. So that's a wonderful thing. We'll make this one a little bit more simple than the last one, or we'll figure out something. I got some little vintage buttons that we could use. Ooh, I like that. Mm hmm Let's see. I like to cut the backs off the buttons so it's easier to adhere to whatever you are gluing. Let's stick that here. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. I like that. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay, 
So we added music paper to the last one. So let's use a different stamp. And this is another one of the stamps with the writing. So um, I'm trying to figure out. Um, okay, we're gonna add some ink. Lots and lots and lots of ink to this stamp. And then we are gonna stamp. I like to kind of um, off center the stamp. Give it some pressure. I believe it's upside down, but who's gonna tell? I won't tell if you won't tell. Let's stamp again on this empty part. Perfect. Now, I have some buttons here and some little rhinestones that I'm not sure about yet, but we're gonna set them to the side. Um, what else could we use to, let's first glue this beautiful flower to the top here. It's always good to use your old buttons, right? Buttons are fun and they can really jazz up a piece. So I'm just gonna add this here to the top. And I have this little bowl of goodies here that has all kinds of stuff. Now, would that be too much? Do we need bling on this? It might be too much, but we can eyeball it and see. Uh, you can never have too much bling in your life, right? Let's just test it out here. I'll cut off a little piece, and since we have this gold at the top, we could try and um, fit this in. So I'm just gonna put some glue about right here, and we're gonna add this to the bottom. Guys, I hope you've been checking out my gingerbread videos. Um, I've really been enjoying making those. Um, also, um, I've added some cake videos for those of you who are interested in cakes. I love baking. And um, I hope you've been enjoying my videos. I'm working on a Christmas journal, so you'll see that pretty soon. And that is a lot of fun. So yeah, I just hope you guys have been enjoying my stuff and I would love for you to share with your friends. Okay, what about a button? What do you guys think of this button? Something a little different. Bling and buttons. Buttons and bling. I like that. It's different, but I like it. I like different. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed crafting with me today because I have totally enjoyed crafting with you. And if you would, take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. I'm going to sit these out so that you can see them all. No two are the same. And guys, thank you so very much for watching. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.